Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. Last week we did a video showing how you can get the absolute maximum range from an AGM 88C Harm anti-radiation missile from the FA-18C Hornet. We got 75 nautical miles, we challenged you guys to beat us and yet we haven't had anyone beat us. So next we're onto the F-16C. We're going to get further in this because it's a kinematically superior aircraft. It can fly faster at high altitude and that's what we want to do, give the missile as much of a head start as possible and we've been at this for two hours something like that now so we've got a good idea how this is going to work and we've run into the same problem that we ran into when doing the maximum shot lengths with the aim 120 c amrams in the we've surpassed the limit of the battery and there is a battery in all of these missiles once that battery runs out it no longer tracks we found that at about 88 miles something like that in the aim 120c we can get the max shot length and i'll link that video in the video description if you want to go and watch that and how we calculated the battery length we've hit the same battery length problem with the agm 88c and so now knowing the battery length of the missile it's all about how to get the missile from point a to point b as quickly as possible before the battery life wears out so in this case, we're not going to go into pre-brief mode and lob a perfect parabola. Yes, theoretically, that would get it in maximum range, but the battery will run out before you do that. We've got to fire this like a rifle shot, fire it as fast as possible. And the faster we can get it to the target, the longer we can get the range of the shot, bearing in mind the battery time. Fast and as high as possible. Which is more important, fast or high? We're pretty sure they're going to be both about the same importance. So, air to ground mode, power up the weapon. Weapon display on, boom, apply soy. Got to wait for the uh, big bird to wake up, so I'm just going to fast forward. You can see the distance to target on the HUD at the bottom right 113 miles. Mach 1.7, which is nice. Big birds come alive. Going to lock him up. Big bird locked. That is, master arms on, everything set up, up to the HUD. Get ourselves perfectly, we want to optimise so it, the missile doesn't have to do any steering itself. We're going to go for magnetic uh, zero, zero, 001, slightly to the left that is. 99 miles away. I could fire now but I would not hit simply because I know the battery won't last that long. 96 miles, 55,000 feet, Mach 1.61. We're coming to optimal time now. Again, remember, we're not talking about aerodynamic efficiency. We're talking about time efficiency, battery efficiency. We have 60,000 feet, 91 miles, and I'm feeling we're reaching our optimal about now. 89 miles, fire the weapon. Punch out, get some serious Mac blast. So that was 89 point something miles. Run it through a little bit. Now, note it's not lofting. It's not lofting because we don't have time for it to loft in this case. We should see our island down there somewhere. So, again, we've got to get this onto target before that battery goes. It's an SA 10, and the SA 10 is programmed not to shoot, shoot us down. You can see we have track. Come on. Getting too slow. Yeah! Boom! Gotcha! So, uh, am I still alive? Oh no, I am still alive. Look at that. That there was an 89 nautical mile shot. Now, I didn't just choose 89 miles. We've been at this. We've probably done 100 shots now. 89 miles is the absolute best we can get at that speed and at that altitude in terms of battery time. Please try it yourself and see if you can find a way of getting any further than 89 nautical miles with an AGM 88C harm. If you can, again, please let us know that you've broken the record and send some proof. Anything to add, Simba? Good shot, good kill. I hope you enjoyed that and see you later.